Now, your news on the go. We start this morning with a major breakthrough on a decades-old case. News Channel 9 has learned there's a suspect in one of Onondaga County's most sinister crimes, which happened 27 years ago. We're talking about the Carol Ryan cold case. The Onondaga County DA says the suspect lives out of state and has lawyered up. A new detective has been assigned to the case. You can read much more on localsyr.com. This morning, the Syracuse Fire Chief wants to reopen a firehouse that was closed a decade ago. Station 7 in the University Hill neighborhood needed major repairs at a time when the city was millions in the red. Now the chief says opening it up again would help with growth in the neighborhood and would help the city overall. The chief says it would cost $3 million to renovate Station 7, another $3 million to staff it. Turning to a different fire district, this time in the town of Lysander, the Plainville Fire District says it needs volunteers now or crews won't be able to respond quickly to emergency calls. Right now, there are just 17 active members. If you're interested, you have to fill out an application to become a member and then go through training. Anyone 18 or older can join. Later today, the state DOT will be making an announcement surrounding community outreach with I-81. The I-81 Viaduct project is officially underway in the northern suburbs. The sport that's been sweeping the nation is now in Onondaga County. Later today, there's a ribbon cutting for 12 new pickleball courts at Onondaga Lake Park. Construction has been going on since early summer. The ribbon cutting is at 10. Centro is expanding its stops to the Syracuse Airport. Beginning September 5th, it'll have 13 daily round trips from the Syracuse hub. The first bus will get there as early as 5.30 in the morning. The last bus will leave the airport around 7 at night. Speaking of the airport, we're tracking local jobs this morning. The TSA is hiring. Interested? Head to the recruiting event today at the Northern Onondaga Public Library in North Syracuse. It's from 1230 to 230. You do not need experience working in security or law enforcement to apply. We are tracking all sorts of fair fun this morning. The first concert for this year's Great New York State Fair is Chevy Checker. A week from today, he kicks things off at 1 at Chevy Court. The fair runs next Wednesday, August 23rd through September 4th. We will be in front of the Expo Center, so come say hi.